Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates. Imo State, popularly called the Eastern Heartland before now, is one of the most peaceful states in the southeast and by extension Nigeria. But in recent times, residents have continued to live in fear following the spate of insecurity in the state occasioned by attacks by unknown gunmen. From the attacks on correctional centers to police formations, INEC offices, courts, and to recent spate of assassinations, this no doubt have resulted in residents living in fear. The recent assassination of Ahmed Gulak on his way to the Sam Mbakwe airport in Imo State is also one that has sparked up much discourse in public space. It's unfortunate, it's really unfortunate that um, Dr. Ahmed Ali Gulak was murdered in that way. It's also more unfortunate that it happened in the state of Imo, which is uh, our dear state. He's a free Nigerian who feels that uh, he is free to travel as he wishes, you know, uh, before the very wicked ones, those who feel that Imo State belongs to them, those who feel that the political process belongs to them, those we know who have said that they will make Imo ungovernable, those we know that they, they, they have even pointed, accusing fingers even at a, a large black since after the primaries. Residents are worried and are calling on government to beef up security to bring back peace in the state. Well, for me, I feel that it's a collapse of security architecture in the state and the country. But if there is enough security, something couldn't have happened. Nobody's safe. If a visitor could be killed in the state, a high profile visitor for that matter, I, I would advise that the government should sit up. You see, sometimes, most times, you, you don't use force. Try to find out why this is happening. Meanwhile, Imo State Governor Hope Uzodema, in a recent meeting with stakeholders and traditional rulers from different local government areas of the state, to discuss how to tackle the security concerns facing the state, says the security challenges experienced in Imo cannot be tackled by government alone without community participation. I came to you, NS Wapa, to call Uguta boys to order because of the level of criminality. We are boys who carry AK-47 and be going on the street intimidating people. And if there is a government, I will not allow it. Uzodema regretted the fact that resources meant for the development of the state are now being forced to be diverted to fight insecurity. He, however, says it's time for insecurity to give way for peace to reign in the state.